If you have a PS5 and a Sonos Arc, you probably love watching Blu-rays. But did you know you can make your movie sound even better with Dolby Atmos? That's right, Dolby Atmos is a game changer for sound quality. It makes you feel like you're part of the action no matter what genre you're watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Dolby Atmos for Blu-rays on your PS5 and Sonos Arc. Trust me, you won't believe the difference, so stay tuned and let's get started. Hi, I'm David Loving and you're watching Loving Tech Life. On this channel, I share my love of tech and gaming with tips, tutorials and reviews based on my experiences. Welcome. To begin with, make sure you connect the Sonos Arc using a HDMI 2.1 cable and connect it to the HDMI port on your TV labeled eARC. Next, make sure that your soundbar is positioned so that ideally it has nothing above or below that is potentially blocking or interfering with the sound. If it is sitting on a cabinet like mine, move it right to the front of the cabinet so none of the sound is reflecting down off your cabinet. And if you have it mounted on the wall under your TV, you need to make sure that the bar has enough space above it so the TV doesn't block the upward firing sound. Next, we're going to adjust the settings on the Sonos Arc itself to get the most out of Dolby Atmos. The first thing you will do is go through the Sonos TruePlay setup if you haven't done this yet, or if you've had an Arc for a while and it's been a few months since you set up TruePlay, you will want to do this again as Sonos recently updated their firmware to enhance their TruePlay feature on the latest version of the firmware. Just open the Sonos app and tap on System, choose the Sonos Arc, Tap on TruePlay and open TruePlay Tuning. Next, you'll follow the instructions on the screen and walk around the room with your iPhone mic picking up sounds playing from the Sonos Arc to customize TruePlay for your specific room, which I've just sped up here for this video. Once that's complete, we're going to adjust some of the settings on the Arc for the best Atmos experience. I must give credit to Peter P over in his channel for these settings and the research he carried out getting them. And if you want to know more about the details of how he got these settings, I've put a card to the video above and we'll leave a link in the description to his video if you want to check it out after. His settings were for a Sonos Arc with a sub and in this case I've made some small adjustments for use with the Arc on its own, so adjust as needed for your setup. Under your Arc settings, go into the EQ and if you have a sub then change the base to minus one. I'm leaving this at zero since I don't have a sub in this case. Change the treble to plus four and make sure the loudness is switched on. Next, go to height audio and increase that to plus four, which you may need to adjust depending on your room and your ceiling height. Make sure volume limit is switched off. Open up the now playing page below. Make sure something is playing on the TV so that the night mode and speech enhancement options are available. Night mode needs to be switched off and speech enhancement is switched on. If you have surround speakers, Peter recommends leaving them at zero again since TruePlay will adjust those as needed. He also pushes the volume up by 15% to about 58, but your mileage may vary depending on what your partner thinks about that level of volume. Here is a summary of all the settings Peter recommends. Next, we're going to make sure everything is set up on the TV. In this case, I have an LG CX TV, so I click on the settings button, open all settings to open the more advanced sound settings. Open sound and make sure sound out is showing HDMI arc, then go back and select additional settings, have digital sound out set to pass through and make sure eARC is switched on. Depending on your TV, you will need to do something similar. Last but not least, we will go to the PS5 and set that up. Head over to settings on the top right, scroll down to sound and go to audio output. Select HDMI device type and instead of TV or soundbar, select AV amplifier, then under the number of channels, select 5.1 channels. Note that here you should select 7.1 if you have the new Sonos Era 300s as your surround speakers. Lastly, scroll down to the bottom to audio format priority and switch to Dolby while watching Blu-rays. Just switch back to linear PCM when you're finished watching the Blu-ray and you're ready to play games. Put a UHD Blu-ray with Dolby Atmos sound into the PS5 and back out to the main menu. Switch over to media at the top. Instead of hitting play at the bottom, select the disc at the top to go to the disc main menu. Depending on the movie, the first thing you may have to do is select the audio menu and select the Dolby Atmos audio track. Next, you need to switch the PS5 settings in the player to Bitstream by pressing the options button on the PS5 controller, then select the three dots menu, scroll down to settings, 
select audio format and change from linear PCM to Bitstream. It's almost like a hidden option just to get Dolby Atmos working for Blu-rays on the PS5. Now back out to play the movie. Once the movie starts, the Sonos app will show that it's playing in Dolby Atmos. Now you can sit back and enjoy the movie in Dolby Atmos. If this video helped you out, please smash the like button below for the algorithm and I'll catch you in the next one.